Hey there guys, today's video is about adding bleed in Affinity Designer. It's not as straightforward as you'd imagine. Okay, so if you're used to working in Adobe Illustrator, you'll probably find that bleed is very easy to work with. You go 85 by 55 millimeters, two artboards, if say you're making a business card. Tap in your bleed values of three millimeters for the top, bottom, left and right and click create. And then if you was to design your job on this template, in this case I just paste one in, you can see that you've got the art bald end line in black and then the bleed is visible past that. But in Affinity uh, Designer it's a bit strange, you can't always see the bleed and it annoys a lot of people, including myself. I'll just give you a quick uh, rundown why. So in Affinity, if you go File, New, you can only actually create one artboard to begin with. So we just put our business card dimensions in there. You don't really need these margins, though it's good to add the formula margin when you're designing, so you could turn that on. Okay, in the bleed option, enter three millimeters for the top, bottom, left and right, like you did in Illustrator. Color mode, CMYK, create. Okay, so you've got your one artboard there. But if you want to work like you do in Illustrator and add a second artboard, you'd first click this artboard icon in the menu bar and then click insert artboard here. Zoom out and click it again. Okay, so now you've got your two artboards. And although you've got the bleed line on the second artboard, when you paste in or design your artwork, the bleed is hidden. So you can see the bleed guides, but not the actual bleed which is quite confusing for a lot of people, including myself. But the workaround that I've found is, that if you go to the layers palette, you can expand the group and then take out the artwork from the artboard group. And then it becomes visible. Strange. I don't know why they've done it like that. Maybe it's something to do with the way it handles documents and their personas. Um, right, now if you want to export this with crop marks and bleed, it's very similar to Illustrated. Go File, Export, PDF, PDF Press Ready, Include Bleed, click More, and then go to the bottom and include printer marks also. Okay, so you can close that now. Okay, and export. If we just save that onto the desktop for now as a demo. Okay, and here's your print ready PDF. So, yeah, maybe let me know your thoughts in the comments, but I just can't get my head around why they've done it like that. It's workable, I suppose. So, uh, happy printing.